Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed Horrible Histories as much as me because I was watching very closely because Sam is going to be testing me on it on a quiz in a minute. Saying that though, where is he? Sam, where are you? What? Are you not coming on or what? Not with an intro like that. Come on, give me a big intro. <sighs> Here is your host, Sam. <sighs> Bigger than that. Make it glitzy. Make it like a game show. You know, give me some game show music or something. Seriously? Yes. <sighs> Here is your host, Sam. Thank you ever so much, you're too kind. Welcome to the Horrible Histories Quiz. What are you wearing? It's my quiz outfit. It's awesome. I know. <laughs> okay, Mark <laughs> Beverly Rhodes, are you ready to play the Horrible Histories Quiz? Well, I am, but that's not my middle name. I hope you were watching very carefully, because I'm about to ask you seven quick-fire questions. Seven. Not six, not eight, seven. <laughs> the has come off. I'm going to put him back on. Put okay, back. are you ready? I am. Okay, here we go. That's very amusing. <laughs> Question one. Who is the host on Horrible Histories? A rat. Correct. Question two. Where did gladiators go to school? Gladiator school. Correct. Question three. What subject were the gladiators studying? Ah, was it, um, how to, um, sword fight? Incorrect! Ah. The answer was maths. Just oh, sort me tash out. Yeah. Question four. What were the World War trenches infested, infested with? Lice. Correct! Question five. When did the Vikings get their hair washed? At night? Incorrect. Ah. The answer was Saturday. <laughs> Same as it could me. could have been night on a Saturday. <laughs> nah, you didn't give me the day, man. Oh. Okay, question six. Name two things pirates weren't allowed to do. Uh, they weren't allowed to go to bed after 8 o'clock. That's right. And... It's not what I've got on my card, Mark. Oh, come on! That's If you can give me another, I'll give you half a point. Oh, will yeah. I'll give two things. All right. They weren't allowed to... Ah... Uh... quick fire. <laughs> Why stop hustling me, Tash man? Um, I don't know, I can't remember. OK, the answer was fight and play games. Oh. OK, finally, question seven. What was King George the first favourite flavour of ice cream? Ah, uh, it was vanilla. Mint chop chip, sorry. Ah. OK! That's the end of the Horrible Histories quiz. And Mark, you did very well. I can tell, I can say... <laughs> That's us that time. Turn it to me, Eddie, that is. You, you got a total score of three. That's not bad. That's hey, not bad. That is very good. Thank you very much for playing the Horrible Histories <laughs> quiz. We'll see you next time. Hey, whoa, 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 wait there. I'm going to test you now. <laughs> you look really odd with that hair. <laughs> I'm going to test you now on the next episode of Tracy Beaker. Yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah. Right. bring it on, hey. Me and Tracy were like that. Can I wear that fantastic no. outfit? But why not? Oh, here's Tracy Beaker. Good tap. Hello there, and welcome to the CBBC office. We're here doing a little quiz. Yeah, we are, but before we carry on, I did not authorise for you to be wearing my Quizmaster outfit. Calm down, it looks better on me anyway. All right. Now, earlier on, Sam asked me seven questions on horrible histories, and I did all right. I got three points. Now, I am going to return the favour by asking him seven questions on the last episode of Tracy Beaker. Are Bring you ready? On. I am ready, Mark. Oh. I am ready and raring. Well, we will find out if you are. We will. We? we will. Okay. First question. Oh. In this episode, was Tracy living in the care home? No. Correct. How much money did the new social worker give Rio? Uh, f five pounds. Correct. What was the new social worker called? God. Shaz? Wrong, it was Kez. Oh, oh next question. Course. What did Tracy have on her T-shirt? Oh, oh, uh, monkeys. Correct. Yeah! What, what sweet snack were the children demanding? Chocolate. Correct. What costume was Malcolm wearing? I'm going to have to hurry you. I don't know. I forgot. Vampire. Oh. Final question. How many names are there in the Tracy Beaker credits? <laughs> Does this include surnames? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> 18. 
I'm afraid it's more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you did very, very well there. Thank you. I can tell you that you got a grand total of four. Yay! Yeah. Bring it down. All right. So that. Was that better than you or worse than you? Oh, was that better than you? <laughs> was that better than you or worse than you? Hey. Yeah, it's one better. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, this quiz fun, we're going to carry on with it because next up I'm going to be testing Mark on the next episode of Hotel Trouble. So you should be watching that yeah. very carefully because yeah. you can play on too. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble when I smash your score. What? I said we better watch Hotel Trouble, it's the law. Oh, right. <laughs> Hi there! Welcome back to the CBBC office. Now, if you've not been watching me and Mark, I've been testing each other on our knowledge of CBBC shows. As you can see, so far, Mark has three points on the horrible history quiz. <laughs> I have four points on the Tracy Beaker quiz. And now we're going into round three, which is Hotel Trouble. Mark, are you ready? It's a good little walk, that was. Thanks. Yeah, I'm ready. OK, here we go. Question one of the Hotel Trouble quiz. What colour is the phone in reception? Black. Wrong answer, it's red. Question two. Say red. What is the name of the movie star staying at the hotel? Ah! Uh, it's not a... Serious... <laughs> I'm afraid you're wrong. The answer is Verity Lemire. Oh, of course it is, sorry. Question three. What is the cat's full name? Um. <laughs> I'm no, gonna have to no, hurry. I'm gonna no, have to hurry. Is it Professor? It's not. No. What is it? Uh, it's General Sirius Poshington. Okay. Question. <laughs> question four. What is Mrs. Poshington's first name? Shirley. Really? Shirley. Shirley. No, it's not. It's Penelope. Oh. Okay. You are having an absolute shocker. OK, number five. Why did Sally send out the male guest? Because he was wearing brown shoes. Yay! Yeah, you got one right. OK, question six. Come on, you can bring it back. Sure what, does, what, what, does, me. what does Verity eat to annoy Sally? Jam. Yay! Rhymes with Sam. Yeah, good one. Finally, question seven. How many names were in the end credits? Oh, now this one. Um, I'm going to say... 37. <laughs> you must have been cheating. Are you kidding? Are you, no. It's 36, but it's still. Oh, it's close. No. It was close. No, though. no. It was close. So, that, that was really close. Oh, thanks. Okay, nice. so that gives you a total score of two. You need to have a shocker, don't you? Oh, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well done. Hey, Good it's right. not over yet. I'm still one point in the late. <laughs> we still got one more to go. Because after the next episode of Trap, I am going to be quizzing Sam on who is the ultimate quiz master. You keep waving. You want to trap.